Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt becomes tasteless, what can make it salty again? It is good for nothing and can only be thrown out to be trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hilltop cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp to put it under the top. They put it on the lampstand where it shines for everyone in the house. In the same way, your light must, must shine in the sight of men, so that seeing your good works, they may give the praise to your Father in heaven. the Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, a few years ago I came across a young man, an engineer, working. And this young man used to spend his weekends at an orphanage, teaching the senior children maths and science, and so I asked him one day, your friends go out for parties and outings and all, but you prefer to come over here. What is it that inspired you? And so he said, well, I have a lot of friends. Yes, I enjoy to go out for parties and outings with them. But what I enjoy more than all that is coming here to the orphanage and spending time with these children who have no one of their own. And he says, what inspired me was my first Holy Communion. He said, being the only child, my parents used to spend a lot on me, especially on my birthdays, to have parties, invite my school friends, neighbors, and we used to have big parties for my birthdays. On my first Holy Communion, I expected to have a big party, but it was kept a surprise. And indeed it was a surprise because when the day came, my parents had organized a party in an orphanage inviting my school friends and my neighbors to an orphanage and the party was there. He said, at first I was disappointed because I never expected it to be there and because I knew that those children would not give me any presents and gifts. Nevertheless, as the party went on, I saw everyone enjoying themselves. And these children who had no one of their own, they were enjoying themselves and seeing that happiness of theirs. I realized the happiness within me. And that happiness has stayed with me since that moment of my first Holy Communion. Yes, my dear friends, we've been reflecting on the whole theme of Jesus being alive in the sacraments all through the feast yesterday. And the readings of today now help us look at Jesus being alive in me and me. Jesus calling me to be his witness in the world. And the gospel speaks of this in the context of being the light and being the salt, and being the city on the hill. 
participating in the sacraments and carrying Jesus within me into the world to make a difference in the world. The question is, my dear friends, do I reflect the presence of Jesus in my life, in the world where I am? Do I reflect the presence of Jesus within me? And the second question is, how do I reflect his presence? How do I reflect his presence? And it's good that all of us ask ourselves these two important questions. Because if I receive Jesus, do I reflect his presence at all in my life? And how do I reflect it if I do? Very often, my dear, my dear friends, we live our lives compartmentalized, two compartments. On one hand, we have my spiritual life. On the other hand, I have my personal life. And the two are different compartments. In the spiritual life, I have my sacramental life, at and mass and all. And personal life is my family, work, leisure, that is separate. The two do not merge. They are like water and oil. You know, they don't mix. And so I come, attend the sacraments, and I go out and I'm in the second compartment now. And so going to church becomes like any other activity. Say for instance, going to the market. It becomes like any other activity. The only difference I can see here is that when I go to the market and I return home, I carry something with me, something to nourish me, something to enrich my life, something that is useful in my home. But when I return from church, I return empty-handed as if to say nothing happened. And that is a fact, my dear friends. That is a fact. Where am I? Besides the readings and the reflections and the prayers at Mass, something very important happens. Jesus offers himself to me and invites me to be a part of his life. But we are so stuck with the readings, the reflections and the prayers that we forget this exchange which takes place and this invitation which takes place. Jesus offering him himself. I receive the light of Jesus. Jesus gives me his light. I receive it. And that is very easy. But the second aspect, Jesus calls me to reflect now his life to others. And that is the challenge. Because now I have to respond to it. My dear friends, this challenge can be met when I dance with Jesus. When I dance with Jesus. The word dance has five alphabets, D-A-N-C-E. And each of these alphabets can reflect a word which will enrich my life and help me to live Jesus in the world. And so D desire. I desire to become more like Jesus. And so if I'm a person who gets angry easily because of my impatience, I can desire to be patient with others in my life. Becoming aware that God is patient with me. I desire to be patient with others. Or if I get angry because of my expectations with others, I become aware that I desire to be more accepting of others. God accepts me 
in my limitations? Can I accept others in their limitations? And so I desire one aspect, any one aspect of Jesus. So what would I desire for myself right now? Ask yourselves this one question. Close your eyes for a moment and ask yourself, what do I desire for myself? of the person of Jesus. To grow in understanding, to grow in patience, only one aspect. The second word, A. A stands for awareness. Having a desire within is not enough. I grow in awareness now as I move through life every day. Am I able to keep up this desire in my life? I grow in awareness of my actions, of my attitudes. Is it all keeping in mind with the desire I have within me? Awareness at all times. So that I don't slip or fall or return to my old ways. I have a desire, I grow in awareness at all times. And so if I'm desiring patience, I become aware, ah, I'm impatient now. My anger is because of my impatience. I catch myself, I become aware of that. The third, N. N is noise. Noise in my life that shift me away from my desire. Noise. Noise can be making excuses and justifying my action. I was angry because this one made me angry. No, sorry. It's only a justification. Noise. Noise is that which takes us away from our focus. Focus. The next word, C. C is commitment. Having a desire, being aware, also looking at noise in my life, I now commit myself with a stronger inner movement that come what may, I will not move out from this desire that I have stated. I commit myself to work on this particular aspect in my life. I stand firm on it. I do not make compromises, no, on myself. And when I am firm on myself, I can grow deeper and deeper in that one desire which I have. And once I master that one desire, I can now shift to another desire. But I need to master that one desire. And so commitment is very important. And the third one, E. E is examining my life time and again to see, is it on the right track or am I going off track? And so desire, awareness, noise, commitment and examine. In these I dance with Jesus. And Jesus becomes a part of me more and more. The light of Jesus becomes brighter and brighter in my life. The darkness fades away. And I am able to become more and more like Jesus. And this is, my dear friends, what it means to be the light in the world. It's not only that I'm carrying it along with me. No, I become the light. I become the light. We become rooted in Christ. And your 
I live in love, I live in kindness, I live in compassion, I live in care. And the first reading tells us beautifully, then your light will shine and it will break forth like the dawn. Then your light will shine. Then Jesus will become a part of you. And so your life won't be compartmentalized, but the spirit of the sacraments will flow into your life and your life will flow into the spirit of the sacraments of Jesus being a part of you and moving with you. Your light will shine into the world. And yes, my dear friends, this is our prayer for each one of you, that you may grow in the desire of becoming more like Jesus and the sacraments may help you to understand the presence of Jesus in your life. And in this, you may be fully alive and fully human in your families, in your neighborhood, wherever you are, radiating the presence of Jesus, the light of Jesus in your life. Let's pause for a moment and ask the Lord to help us in all these five aspects that I may desire to be more like him, that I may grow in awareness, that I may overcome the noise in my life, that I may commit myself to radiate his qualities in the world and that I may examine my life every moment to become more like Jesus.